Hey everybody, there is Viral here, and welcome back to more Mass Effect. Okay, it's not been long since I actually did the last session, but, you know, I'm in the mood for more me, so why not? But the last, at the end of the last session, I did speak with everybody, so, should be good with uh, all that. Am I in the Vermeer system? I don't remember. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do that then. First and foremost, we have to go to Vermeer! The Sentry Omega. Hawk. Oh, that's the only place to go. Well, that makes sense. Ah, Alright. I'm guessing there's probably a cutscene here. More than likely, yeah. Jarfor? Chloroplon? Nimata? Vermeer, what name? Pris Priscilla? Priscilla? Priscilla is a terrestrial world so small it cannot retain even a trace atmosphere. The surface is frozen and composed of magnesium silicates and carbonaceous deposits. In the recent past, a pirate band from the Terminus systems carved a message into the surface using a ship-based laser weapon. In 100 meter wide batarian soup, uh, syllabic, the message proclaims the military prowess and virility of one Captain Zaish. A smaller postscript alludes to the questionable pa uh, parentage of all humans. Oh. Okay. So, we have Chloroplon. Chloroplon is a relatively small hydrogen he helium gas giant with a haze of methane in the upper atmosphere. Always intrigues me when I find the planets like this, because it's clear they didn't know what to write. <laughs> I mean, with how little... Pardon me. With how little they actually use to describe the planet, it's kind of like, okay, you didn't know what to write for this. So Jaffa is a close-orbiting hot Jupiter hydrogen helium gas giant with clouds of airborne silicate and deeper layers of sodium. In composition, it is extraordinarily similar to 51... Is that Pegasi's planet? Bellerophon? One of the first extrasolar planets discovered by humanity in the late 20th century. Despite its great size, Jarfoy is actually rather low mass. The incredible heat of the star Hawk has caused its atmosphere to expand. In fact, Jarfoy is so low mass, it is tidally blocked to Hawk. The temperature could be between... Uh, God. The temperature difference between the sunward hot pole and the dark side cold pole creates constant hurricane false winds. Oh. And a day on this planet is a year... Wait, 1.3 years. That's the same as, um, that previous planet we went on. I'm pretty sure. Nomata? So Nomata is a terrestrial planet with a thick, hazy atmosphere of ammonia, methane, and a cocktail of other hydrocarbon gases. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of nickel with deposits of iron. With a density of... With a density 1.4 times that of Earth, it is obvious that Nomata is rich with heavier elements. Mining could be extremely profitable, though the lethal heat and high gravity would make initial development costly. Given the political instability of the nearby terminus systems, investment is unlikely. Oh. That's it, we only have Vermeer. Mm. So Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the, the political instability of the nearby terminus system has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers make it an unappealing homestead. And the Gath. Of course, you also have the Gath. Cutscene time! That's gonna be my guess. As soon as I land, as, as long as I can save, I'm happy. Yeah, I just don't want to screw up or something. But this is the lead up to the last, uh, missions, I guess. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're doing the usual. Oh, I can see where we're stood on the beach. Must be our Solarian Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. Oh, it's the Mako, not a Mako. Alright, whatever. How would they not notice? Stay 
out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. All right. Oh, there we go. Saving data. I think I'm gonna make a wanna make a save anyway. Just a manual one. I'm not relying on auto saves. I find it weird how the game is saving, but there's still stuff happening, like the water and stuff is moving. It's so strange. Hmm. But as I said last session, I'm hoping I can finish the game in this session, but there is a lot to do. Yeah, there's like the entirety of Vermeer, and then um, like three more missions after that. And Vermeer, unlike the other planets, you can't leave. Like, once you come down, you're there for the long haul. You're there for the long haul. I don't have to worry about uh, XP either, I just realised. No, XP is something that doesn't matter at this point. Because I'm at max level! What the hell are these? Just random animals, I guess? I think this must be this must be the planet that was shown in the preview of the game. Like when you sit on the title screen for long enough, it shows like a a bunch of gameplay clips. I think this was it. Oh god! There we go. All I get from this is Medi Gel. Woo! All right. Well, I mean, could be worse. Where is everything? Just wanting to go through and just have a look. Oh, there they are. Are you kidding? Wow, that, the assault drone is really screwing me up. How did that miss? Alright, screw this. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I just didn't want to die. What a douche. Oh god. Oh. Not ideal. Oh, so that might end up killing the animals. Or oh, bugs. I don't really know what they are. I'm just going off of what they look like. Oh, there we go. As long as I don't screw my, um, the Mako shields up too badly, I should be fine. Oh, I see a juggernaut. Oh god. Oh! I think that's the first time I've actually done a successful dodge. Oh, nice. A yeah, successful dodge where I jumped over the rocket. Never normally happens. <laughs> oh, I can't save. But why? What have we got? Sledgehammer rounds, snowblind rounds, flutinous materials, medical exoskeleton. Rank 8. Oh, I'm jammed. My cam's jammed. I was actually going to say my gun's jammed. You're know, referencing a uh, carbine from Gears. Was it Gears 2? I don't remember. Yeah, my gun's jammed. Where the hell is that rocket drone? Ah, oh, there. It's more the fact that my missile didn't do anything, so... Wait, if I just... Kaboom! <laughs> well, <laughs> it doesn't stand a chance. Okay, we're being, like, pelted by everything. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just an assault drone. Rocket Trooper. He dead. Rocket Trooper. He nearly dead. Fine. Oh! Well, <laughs> I'll never be able to replicate it. Is there another one? Oh yeah. I like how they just kind of fall over. I don't know if I get more money if I kill them on foot. Or not. Also, I'm still jammed, which means there is still Geth somewhere. Somewhere around here. Still can't save. Oh. Yeah, it is here. Oh. 
Well, I'll be. Never would have guessed. Oh, God. I ran into that. I should be careful here. Alright, we got rocket drones, guest troopers, more rocket drones. I don't know why I bother using the missile. It's not really that useful. There's the trooper. I've got to say, I definitely heard that they shot. I missed. Is that all of them? Oh. Who's jamming us? Usually it's the snipers. Most of the time, yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. There we go, climb on over. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. They're probably up above. They're clearly close by because I can run. Ah, oh, there they are. Guest Trooper! No longer gem. Yeah, I shouldn't try and just speed speed run my way through this. Because there could actually be good, decent things that I can pick up. Weapons or otherwise. Is there a sniper? Oh, shoot! There we go. Well, we shouldn't be jammed anymore. The sniper's dead. It's usually the snipers that cause the jamming. Oh, there isn't. There's another one. That's why. I'm pretty sure. Breaker, Harpoon, Avenger! Breaker 9? I think... It's not as good as Breaker 10. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, it might be the guest stalkers that cause jammings. Oh my god, why do I keep taking cover? And dead. There we go. Now we're no, no longer jammed. Hardened weapons locker. Hard decryption, eh? Yeah, that was certainly difficult. Raikou Hurricane Lancer. They're all terrible. They're like floating discs. I never know if they're grenades or not. Also, I can sprint. Ah, oh, there we go. Never mind. I can save again! Hooray! I'll get in the Mako and do that. Because why not? And yeah, the fact I don't have to worry about um, XP anymore makes this so much easier. Like, maybe not easy. Easy is the wrong word, but it's so much nicer. Because I don't have to worry about constantly getting out of the bloody um, the Mako just to take care of the enemies to maximize the amount of experience I get. It's really nice. To be quite honest. So we have a turret up ahead, I think. Uh, Mr. Terriot. Oh, there. Oh, it's not a turret, it's a Colossus. These things are still horrible. Oh my god, that actually missed. Ha uh ha! -huh. Oh god, it's, the <laughs> it's like having a seizure. Go! Oh. Yeah, I've recovered most of my stuff back. There you go. I don't even... Money. No money. No nothing. Blows. Oh, now we have armatures. Oh! Yeah, I'm getting good at dodging. Look at me go. I'm gonna say there are they are on my right hand side too. How are you not dead? Die already, you bitch! Ah, oh, great. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it's whatever they shoot at me that can take down my shield really quick. I don't really have to worry about these guys because of how far away they are, though. I can't even tell if that's hitting. I can hope it is. Oh, it definitely was. Good. And we got him. So there's snipers somewhere. Can I actually look at them at? Okay, so it splits off. Going this way just leads to a dead end. I think. 
I'm just basing it off of the map. Oh, maybe not. Another Colossus, though? Oh, why? Oh, God. That was a pretty, uh, pretty good jump. Go, Marco! I jumped too early. Whatever. That thing is just walking in circles. And we got him! Still nothing. Okay. Yeah, like, all I got from that was Medigel, which is a bit lame. It just sucks I didn't get anything else. Although, I will admit, I don't really know why I'm going out of my way to deal with them. Yeah, when I don't need to, because I don't need the XP. Okay, still got me. Nice. Ah, shoot. We are being hit by the sniper. Wherever they are. Oh, they're probably in that building over there. Yeah, more than likely. This would have been a really good way of getting um, XP though. Although I'm just killing them to get guns or whatever. I should really stop being a fool. Yeah, because my uh, shields are nearly gone. If I use Omnigel, what happens? I can't. Oh, okay, never mind. I can't save because there's a sniper somewhere. Oh, there we go. I got rid of one of them. Oh, there we go. Rocket Trooper. <laughs> he just fell over. There's still something here, clearly. Oh! What was that? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Oh, there we go. Nice. Everything. No, there's still more. All right, on foot we should pr we shall proceed. Oh, there we go. Oh, shock and a rock. Yeah, shock and rocket. Ooh, give me that crate. Negative contacts, Commander. Striker avalanche guardian. Oh, that was light armor. I find it weird that the light armor is also incredibly good. Like, on the upper end of stuff. It's surprising. Oh yeah, sniper. Sheesh. Like, Tali's wearing the Colossus. Colossus 9, and it's the light armor variant. We may as well save here. And the protection is like 62, which isn't much worse than the heavy armor. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it was 62. So I always thought the, like, the light armors would cap off at a certain amount. And, um... Wait a minute. Yeah, I always thought the light armors would cap off at a certain amount and wouldn't... go any higher than, say, like a 30 or something. So it's quite nice that that's not the case. Ooh! A weapons locker. Uh, sure. Very nice. Striker and a Naginata. I've also just realised that Restream isn't connected to my Twitch for some reason. Wait, can I destroy this? Oh, disable. I get zero on the to the Solarian base now. Power Get the hell out of here, Rex. Go, God, you won't leave me alone. Yeah, the vehicle gate is now open. Oh, there we go. Now it's reconnected. It scared me. I had to check Twitch that I was actually streaming. 
Thought it wasn't for a sec. Can I fall down here? No. Right, well, we'll get back in the Mako and then I'll save. We're just making a save at any opportunity I get. Just in case. I don't know when something might happen that I'll just die for him. It might not happen, it's just you never know. So where are we actually making our way to? Ah, the Salarian camp. Okay. Well, I see more hostiles. What gatehouse are we at then? Gatehouse, gatehouse. Oh, right, there's three gatehouses. Ah, uh, that's what this is showing then. Here we got this one and then round the corner. There's more gas. What are they? Ah, oh, this is, yeah, this is where the intro um, cutscene showed. It showed the Marco at like an angle like this and it, they jumped over a rocket. There you go, I just imitated it perfectly. Guaranteed. I was just waiting to see if I could see movement. But that couldn't. It's fine, they won't be any... Well, they won't be very difficult to deal with. Whoa! So we have a shock trooper, we have a shock trooper. And we have a shock trooper. A whole lot of shock troopers. Oh, and a destroyer. God, I forget they just... They like to run up to you. You can win through this doorway. There we go. We got him! I'm guessing I have to open up the doors again. Was it really only one AA? An AA gun that they had? Because that's surprising. You would think they would have more than just the one. No, they only have gate controls. Vehicle gates open! Mm-hmm. That's where we're going. Ah. Yep. Banshee, I need to get rid of some of these. Because I'm definitely gonna be over. Combat XO. Nope. Kinetic coil. Nope. Kinetic XO. Yes. Inferno. Nope. High explosive rounds. No. Combat optics. No. 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 Kinetic coil. Where'd the kinetic coil go? Oh, we have more snow blind. Snow blind. Energized plating. I don't think that's what I want. Scram rail. Ah, oh, there. Snow blind. Boom. Breaking eyes. Not bad. Oh, never mind. It is bad when we all have better weapons. What I really should do is not actually get rid of everything. Before I came, I should have actually outfitted every character, just in case. I don't know how this is gonna go. And if I have, like, teammates that are using crappy weapons, that's not good for anybody. If I remember, I might actually do that when Vermeer's done. Just outfit everybody with the best guns I have. How many credits do I have? Did I breach 10 that? No. At 10 million? Not quite. We are close though. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. I am wondering just how long Verma is going to take to actually finish. I get the feeling it's probably not going to be all that huge. It'll probably be like, um, Ferris but probably shorter than Paris. Yeah. I don't mind, either way. Whether it be longer than Ferris or shorter, who cares. Whoa, that's all thunder. Not lightning even. The hell is that? Okay. On the way. 
It's just a smooth cruise on the way there, I guess. Oh, so would I be able to get into the Normandy? Because if I could, then I'd be able to outfit everybody now, which I wouldn't mind. Oh, here we are. 82,000 credits. Where's the Normandy? Because I don't see it. Captain K Kidder? K I'm saving really often. Whatever. Hmm. Either way. If I can go into the Normandy, that would be nice. Just so I can outfit everyone. So I think that would probably be a good idea. Oh, wow, I saved literally just before I could see. Awesome! So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment Kirahi. SDG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. Oh. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Oh. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Oh god. We are not a mistake. Aw, oh, Rex. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Oh, awesome. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Well, there's yeah. a Normandy. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm always ready. Don't say that about my Rex. Rexy boy, where is Rex? Oh, there's Rex. <laughs> oh my god, it black. Oh wow, you hear that forever. Do I save? Yes, I do save. I don't want anything to happen to Rex. I don't like how that how ominous that sounds though. Be ready, just in case. But. Poor oh, Rex, he has the solution to the problem, but like they're not letting him get it. Kind of sucks. Soldier. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. Ah. Rex. Nope. Oh, it automatically this starts. Isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. 
That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Don't do that, you douche. We are. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want? He's using a pistol. No, we were tools for the council once. To thank us for wiping out the Ragnar, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing, when we find Saren, I want his head. Awesome. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that could have ended terribly. So Rex could have died. That's 